afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Hundreds of sex offenders and other high-risk prisoners will soon be transferred to one prison in southern New Mexico, a prison run by a company that's had problems with escapes in the past. Why on earth would the state do that? News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart got some answers. Nearly 300 prisoners, including sex offenders who've offended more than once, and high-risk prisoners such as former law enforcement officers, will soon be making their way to the prison in Otero County. New Mexico Department of Corrections officials say the reason behind the move is simple. This will allow us to house sex offenders in an open, open, open unit where they can be receive treatment, education, and all those, all those types of things. Deputy Corrections Secretary Joe Booker says right now these inmates cannot be housed with other people. Therefore, they remain locked up 23 hours a day. He says that isn't allowing them to get the rehabilitation they need. Some of these guys eventually will be hitting the street. And what we would per prefer to have them on, you know, going to the communities with some, with some treatment so they don't reoffend again. The move will be gradual. Roughly 20 prisoners will be transferred at a time, but some are questioning the move. That's because Utah-based Management and Training Corporation operates the prison. That's the same company who runs the prison in Kingman, Arizona, where John McCluskey, Tracy Province, and a third prisoner escaped in 2010. McCluskey and Province then allegedly went on to murder an Oklahoma couple near Santa Rosa. But New Mexico officials say they're confident in the security here. They say the prison already houses all levels of inmates. Even so, officials say the situation will be closely monitored. So it's, 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 it's like this. If they don't meet the needs of our contract for us, for us the, what, what the security, for us programming, for us things, then we won't do business. But everything up front going in with this, they, they meet, you know, they meet the, the guidelines of, of what we requested. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. We reached out to the Utah-based company that operates the prison, but we're not able to reach them because of the holiday.